Welcome back to the Japan Open in Tokyo. The final skater in the men's singles on the ice now. A medalist here in 1985. Twice a silver medalist in the Olympics, now 35 years of age. Brian Orser. Music is swing, swing, swing. Brian's been spending a lot of time off the ice training, working out in the gym to get his physical condition up to the level that it needs to be at to compete in these tough short programs. Oh my, he's going for it. He's going for the triple axle. Oh! I saw him try that at the Canadian Professional Championships in Ottawa back in December. He was a little closer to getting it this time. It's, it, it's coming. Boy, you have to admire the guts to try that for Brian. Don't forget, he's fairly removed from Olympic eligible skating and to attempt such a difficult jump, that's to his credit. But unfortunately, that will show up in about a four-tenths deduction. You know what, Peter, though? He's back in fighting shape, isn't he? He looks, uh, he looks good now. Lost a considerable amount of weight. And seems to be in terrific physical condition. You're right, Vern, he's got quick feet once again, skating with good speed. Nice double axle right there. Eight times a Canadian champion, twice an Olympic silver medalist, four times a runner-up in the world and a world champion, and really one of the most popular guys in the circuit. Here is Brian Orser. You just said it, Vern. He's done so much for the sport. He's so well-liked by all of us in the skating world, and you just want to see Brian Orser go out there and skate well. But unfortunately for him on the triple axle, here's a look at it doesn't get the rotation you can see right there he's got about a quarter turn more to go and when that happens the blade just stops and you go down but showing a lot of agility here on the footwork all part of the required elements in the short program and now the marks for required elements for brian orser five, 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 one. Unfortunately for him, not getting the triple axle off and falling on the combination. This is a reflection of that, but good presentation scores. So the standings after the men's short program, Ilya Kulik was flawless, and he is alone at the top. The 15-year-old Japanese champion Takeshi Honda is in second. That's the surprise, followed by Philippe Candeloro. The world champion Todd Eldridge is fourth, Brian Orser fifth, and Joseph Sabobjik is sixth. And right now, let's check in with Christine Brennan. I'm here with Ilya Kulik. Wow, what a triple axle. Is that one of the best ones you've done? Uh, no, it wasn't the best one. It's just normal triple axle and triple tall. So I'm doing this every day. In other words, you, you can do better? Uh, sometimes, yeah, I can do better. Are you surprised, Ilya, to be in, in first place? Uh, some other interesting things happened in this short program. Uh, actually, I'm not surprised also because I thought if I did it, if I do it clean, I will be first. So if if my concurrent, like Todd Elish, fall or anything, just, I, was, I wasn't surprised. I thought I would be first if I would do clean. Okay, thank you very much. Good luck in the long. All right, Christine, the Olympic Winter Games were held in Japan.